Yes, it's back. It's back. 72 degrees. And there's old man. Anyways, just freaking gorgeous out here. Just had lunch, Jack and Cannon. I'm gonna head back now. And um, since my exam is done in this afternoon's class, and I don't have anything to do in that class, I think I may be getting sick this afternoon. And if I would just happen to get sick this afternoon, that'll be great because it'll give me an entire afternoon to be able to mow and mulch and get stuff done and enjoy yet another productive, beautiful day. Here's an Audi. It is just a 528, but damn, that F10 looks good in white. Friggin' right. Can you say plastic? Damn, that is a beautiful car. I want one. Well, not the 528. Need one of these. <laughs> Alrighty then, so it's uh, it's still perfect and I really want to go to the pool I would love to just get in the car and throw a bathing suit on and go park there for like five hours But they're not open till Saturday and Memorial Day weekend coming up already This is one of the best weekends around here got a parade then we go to lunch outside And then we go park at the pool for like three days straight weather providing I think last year was damn near perfect Memorial Day weekend um, Friday was good. Last year I'm pretty sure it was in the mid to high 80s and almost like this every day. And this year isn't going to be quite as nice from what we're seeing. Temperature wise it looks great. 88, 91, and 91 I think for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, but there's like a 30% chance of thunder showers on Saturday and maybe Maybe I think Monday too, but 30% that's fine as long as it's hot and it isn't raining We're gonna be at the pool big times. So the grass here is in good shape. No mow required Next door over there. I may get to that this afternoon or tomorrow But tomorrow I'm taking the car down around 2 30 and I probably won't be back here until maybe 4 ish But I think I'm gonna head over across the street and over a house and uh, Get that done. I don't have any obligations this afternoon till 3 I have to pick up Cannon and then take him to lunch somewhere or Liner, lunch, dinner, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm taking them somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I've got like two hours to play with. I'll throw a podcast on the QC15s, run over there, and the grass isn't too bad, but I'm going to get it done. They've paid me for five cuts over there in May, and I've done three. So really, I should do one today and then like the 31st, which is Memorial Day. So I'll probably end up doing it June 1st and just putting it on the May tab for them. Um, but it's not really too high right now. And this one that I was just filming a minute ago really doesn't need it, but since I have the time, actually, I don't even think I'm gonna need to trim. That'll save some time. If I don't have to trim, yeah, screw that. I'm not gonna trim this cut. Problem is, I always say that, and then I go over there and I, I start mowing a yard. I go around the perimeter, you know, along the house, along the driveway, sidewalks, circles around the trees and stuff. and. By the time I get done with that, you can clearly see where the mower made everything nice and even, and then there's like that two inch margin where it just needs to be cut down. So, mark my words, I will probably be talking to you in about 45 minutes to an hour when I'm done with the grass, and I'll be in here, the mower will be outside, and I'll bitch about having to take the trimmer over there and spend another 20 minutes on it. I stand corrected, 84 Saturday, th chance of thunder showers, and then 90 Sunday and Monday with sun, so friggin' right. Yeah, that looks pretty nice too. <laughs> Typical. It's 1.21 p.m. Usually when I would be headed back to the office, but oh boy, am I sick. Uh, <laughs> got that yard done, uh, and I actually didn't have to trim. That surprised me. It hasn't really grown much since it's been so dry. Speaking of which, I'm going to run out and put the sprinklers out here. And uh, I think I'm going to go over there and mow next, because I have time. And it needs did. 5.51 p.m. last clip I filmed was uh, like five and a half hours ago, and I've been walking around looking for this. This is the last thing I am doing for senior year, and I don't want to do it, but I have to read these two stupid things, which, uh, damn, that's going to be a pain in the ass. And this one, larger text and not as long. So I'm going to meet Taylor downtown. We're going to read through this. This is our final exam of our final class tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day, aside from graduation rehearsal and um, what else are we doing Friday? Senior lunch. Uh, last thing we have to do, three classes tomorrow, pretty much a study hall, then a graded discussion, and then um, another study hall where we're watching a movie. So I'm going to go read those things. We're having the discussion on that tomorrow. I'm going to meet Taylor downtown. I watered all day, and uh, my yard is quite a bit greener than, than the surrounding neighbors, which is good. 
and that's the way it stays all summer. And I don't have anything else to say, so I'm going to head downtown, do what is more reading than I originally anticipated, talk about that, then come back and finish off that Watch Later playlist. By the way, we have progress. We've got it down to seven videos. I'm hoping to kill that tonight. Oh, it's a perfect night, 77 degrees, and uh, those couple afternoon clouds we have are completely gone. Oh, freaking right! Hudson, ladies and gentlemen. Too bad it's hideous. Uh, I think I know that guy. Miss a team. There's, uh, there's Jack in the Acura. <laughs> who, who should I go to first? Uh, the Guillardo Superleggera or uh, Jackie Boy? Uh, it was right. It was my uh, friend Tim. I've known him around here for years. And this is his... Um, uh, I'm not a Lambo guy. I'm pretty sure it's a Guillardo Superleggera. Beautiful. Talked to him for a couple minutes. He came into town to get some ice cream. He's got about as many cars as Marshall Goldman. But uh, he's had this for a couple years. Actually, yeah, I sat in this car when I went over to his, his uh, storage area around here. It's, I'm not the biggest Lambo guy, as I said, but I have respect for that. I mean, look at that. Look at the carbon fiber mirror on that. Alcantara seats. Fiber rear wing. Diffuser at the bottom. Not big on the matte exhaust tips. They just look dirty, but damn. Lambo V10, or Volkswagen V10.